All right, I guess we're ready to start. Good morning, everyone. Uh, everyone here in the uh, in the room and those uh, watching virtually, thank you for your, your time and your participation today. Uh, I'm Mike Preston, Secretary of Commerce for the State of Arkansas and Executive Director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Uh, we're so pleased to be here today at Carvana's newest, faci newest facility. Uh, and I said that for maybe a, a couple of days. I'm sure they're going to be opening another one uh, in, in the next few days as this company continues to grow by leaps and bounds. And uh, we're so proud to, that they can call Arkansas a home and we have a uh, place on the map for them and, and to see the progress that they've made in, in such short time from announcing this to uh, being here today to officially opening and, and uh, cutting the ribbon on this beautiful facility. Um, so we'll go into more details. we got some uh, great speakers here to talk a little bit about this project and the community and what it's meant. And, uh, obviously, you'll hear a lot about partnerships and how this has been a uh, team effort between uh, the county, the city, the state, and obviously Carvana to, to uh, get to the point that we are today. So uh, to welcome everyone, I want to introduce the, uh, the mayor of West Memphis, who uh, in these parts needs no introduction, because he was born and raised here, has done an outstanding job. In 2003, he became the youngest city council member in the state of Arkansas uh, and has continued to grow in that capacity in uh, being elected mayor uh, and sworn in in January of 2019. So, Mayor, you've seen a lot in your short time as mayor, but you have also done a lot in your short time as mayor. And, uh, you can attribute to more than 1,200 new jobs um, in the hospitality, retail, manufacturing sector uh, as a result of your leadership. And uh, I know you'll uh, attest that uh, it, you're only as good as the team around you, and I gotta uh, praise uh, Mallory Darby and, and Philip Sorrell and the economic development team that you have around you and all the great work that they do. And I know they're part of your, your team, and we're so happy to, to be in your city today. So let me turn it over to you to welcome everyone to West Memphis. Thank you, sir, for the Secretary of Preston. Uh, I'm honored to be here this morning. First, I wanna say good morning and welcome to the car Hall inspection and reconditioning center located here in our beautiful city of West Memphis, Arkansas. I am Mayor Marco McClendon, and on behalf of the community and the West Memphis City Council, I would like to say thank you, Carvana, and their leadership for having the confidence in Arkansas and choosing West Memphis as their home for this facility. This is a day of celebration for our state, our region, and our community. We are grateful for the support from our partners at the State Economic Development Office, as well as our great governor, the Honorable Asa Hutchinson, leadership and support of job creation and investment in the Arkansas Delta. With their support, West Memphis has been successful in retaining or recruiting over 1,200 new jobs and over $350 million in capital investment since 2019. West Memphis is truly on a winning streak and have a clear vision for its future. As mayor, I see much brighter days for the city of West Memphis. As we continue to partner and forge relationships, our economic star will continue to rise here in West Memphis. So welcome and thank you, Carvana, for choosing our city and giving many families the opportunity to provide a great service and provide for their families. The city of West Memphis is committed to Carvana and supporting them in any way as they revolutionize the new way of buying a car. God bless you and welcome Carvana. Thank you. Mayor, thank you for that welcome and it's always great to, to be in your city and uh, I do agree that uh, great things continue to happen for West Memphis and will continue to happen for West Memphis and uh, this is a, a shining example of that and just so, so pleased by um, this facility and the opening and all that it's meant for these folks. And, and as we drove up this morning, we saw the, the cars in the, uh, the parking lot. We realized, man, they must be employing a lot of people. Then I realized they're, they're in the car business, so they're taking in a lot of cars too. So in addition to employing a lot of people, they're moving a lot of freight in the uh, uh, automotive sector through here. It's exciting to see. Uh, our next speaker is our great governor of the state of Arkansas. Uh, pleased to introduce the, the governor and so thankful for, for his leadership on this project and so many more that we've had. Uh, this governor, when he took office, um, uh, 
it was very quickly that he was going to be the jobs governor for, for the state of Arkansas. But in addition to that, he was also the information technology governor and putting a focus on computer science education uh, and moving the ball, moving the needle for Arkansas uh, into such an important and growing field. And if you look at just about any company, and especially Carvana included, they're really a technology company that specializes in something. Here it's a technology company that specializes uh, in buying and selling of automobiles. And because of Governor Hutchinson's leadership in computer science and what he's been able to do to put forth new policies to mandate computer science education be offered in every uh, school in the state of Arkansas. Uh, it's put Arkansas at the forefront to be able to win projects like this. So every company, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're retail, whether you're uh, in manufacturing or, or um, agriculture, everything has a technology component. And now Arkansas is at the forefront of that. We're so pleased by its leadership. But to take it a step further on what we've been through in this last nine, ten months through the, the pandemic, it's certainly taken true leadership to, to lead us through this. And the governor's measured and data-driven approach to his leadership um, by our estimates and looking at it has saved over 100,000 jobs in the state of Arkansas uh, because he was able to take those, uh, those measured approaches uh, to, um, uh, to keeping our economy open. But additionally to that, we're able to actually grow uh, as a state throughout a pandemic. We've been able to announce uh, some 2,500 jobs in the last three months uh, in Arkansas, all in the midst of the pandemic. Uh, we started the, uh, the new year out yesterday in, in uh, Fort Smith with an expansion of a company called Hytro uh, with 250 new jobs uh, in uh, the western part of the state. And here we are today in the eastern part of the state celebrating an additional 400 jobs that are going to be um, created here at this facility and represent over $40 million in investment. It's because of the governor's leadership that we're able to continue to do this. And I know that we're just, what, January 5th, uh, five days into the new year. We've got a lot more projects to come. So, Governor, it's my honor to uh, welcome the 46th governor of the great state of Arkansas, Governor Asa Hutchinson. Thank you, Mike. It's a great partnership that we have with your team at Economic Development and the Department of Commerce. I uh, appreciate you uh, coming and uh, uh, leading our economic development efforts. Uh, I'm pleased to be a part of that and to be able to make calls, to be able to uh, develop the right policies to show Arkansas is a business-friendly state, that we invite new companies to come here and expand and to create jobs. And Mayor McClendon, uh, let me tell you, this guy's got a heart. Uh, during the midst of the pandemic, he's on the phone to me. Uh, he's trying to figure out solutions, and I appreciate your leadership and your passion for this area. And I want to say a word about uh, Senator uh, Keith Ingram. Uh, he and I have uh, uh, become good partners in my view. I think he's done an incredible job in the legislature. Uh, he and I are both looking forward to the session next week. Yes, I get struck down by lightning whenever I say something like that. Uh, and I say that jokingly, we got a lot of work ahead because uh, this session is going to be really more important than ever with uh, being the part of the pandemic with our vaccine distribution program and all the other issues that we face. But I very much appreciate Senator Keith Ingram's commitment to economic development. And whenever uh, Carvana is uh, looking at coming here, he's the first one uh, to promote it, support it and uh, continue to uh, support the economic development of this region. Uh, I want to recognize uh, Carvana, and I had a great uh, visit with Donald uh, Lang, and good to meet you and to get to know you and your operation. Thanks for letting me stick my head in a couple doors, and it's pretty impressive what you see here, and uh, the fact that you have started hiring so quickly, you developed your partnerships, uh, I think he'll talk a little bit more about that, and uh, we love having Carvana here as an e-commerce company that recognizes Arkansas and West Memphis as a center of activity and opportunity for a good workforce with great logistics and being in the center of the country that you can reach your marketplace. And I know that's why you're here, but you're not going to be disappointed uh, with being here and the opportunities that it presents, and we wish you well. The fact that they're creating 400 jobs over the next five years here, good paying jobs, reflects growth in this area and opportunities for families. And I hope that there's uh, new opportunities in the future whenever you recognize how great a place Arkansas is to do business. And yes, 
out of this uh, facility. They'll be serving uh, the Memphis market, the Nashville market. Uh, they'll be serving multiple states right out of here as a distribution hub. Impressive to me is that 80 to 85 percent of the employees will be certified by the National Institute of Automotive Service Excellence. This means training, this means a workforce that has a skill uh, that uh, will be good for their future. And we know that the partnership that you'll have with ASU Mid-South uh, will be critical uh, in the training and making sure that we provide uh, the workforce that you need. Let me end by just saying that uh, we continue to lower income tax rates in Arkansas. And Donald, this year, the income tax rate went down to 5.9%. And so January 1, we have a lower rate. When I became governor, the rate was at 7%. And so we have consistently lowered that. And I recall a conversation, Keith, when I was campaigning years ago, right here in West Memphis, and I said, how, at what level do we need to get it so that we can compete with a, the rates in Tennessee and their tax rates in other places? And the answer came back, if you get it down to about 5% because of our lower property taxes and other levies, we're competitive. We're working to get there. We want to be able to continue that path, showing that Arkansas is a good place to live, incredible quality of life, center of the country, and a great place to visit. So with that, certainly looking forward to the uh, ribbon cutting. That's the reason I'm here, to showcase that even during a pandemic, we're creating jobs, we're expanding industry, and we're a great place to do business. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. I appreciate your leadership and, and always taking the time to make those phone calls and, and, and work on economic development in the midst of a pandemic. You know Carbon is an exciting place, an exciting company to work for. It's, a, it's an up-and-coming company that um, you know is, is, is caught fire and people have taken notice. But I, I tell you, as I walk in here and I look around, I realize it's a cool place to work because you have an NBA Jam game in the background and a ping pong table. So I know there's going to be people who want to work here. I family don't get any ideas if I see an NBA Jam uh, game in your office. I'll probably be hanging out in your office more often playing it. But, um, you know, kudos uh, to our team, too, with economic development. As I mentioned, it's a partnership. Uh, I mentioned uh, Phil up at Mallory in, in West Memphis and all that they put into this. But Catherine Holmstrom, who is our project manager on this, uh, really worked very hard, as well as Bentley Story, our director of uh, business development. And then Chelsea O'Kelly, who is here as our communications director, who worked closely to help get this event set up. Really appreciate you all and all the hard work that you've poured into this project and many others around the state. Um, it's now my pleasure to uh, introduce our next speaker. Uh, the governor talked a little bit about Senator Ingram and the partnership that uh, we have with the legislature. And it, it is so important to make sure that we have good relationship with the legislature, that they are supportive of economic development. And, you know, it is interesting, Governor, we just came out of a, a campaign. And I'm pretty sure every campaign flyer I saw in every commercial, they talked about growing the economy and more jobs. We'll see how that holds when we get in the legislative session and everyone's still on the same page with that when we start next week, but uh, hopefully they will. But Senator Art Ingram has served in the legislature since 2009, uh, where he was elected to the State House and has been in the Senate since 2012. Uh, in 1987, at the age of 15, he was elected mayor of West Memphis. He served here through 1995, and just a personal story, I know that um, at that time in 1987, when he was uh, elected mayor, he took a chance on another uh, young and up-and-coming economic developer straight out of um, uh, school at that time, a gentleman named Grace Swope, who uh, went on to uh, work in uh, multiple different states, but eventually became uh, my boss in Florida and was kind of my mentor in economic development. So uh, there's always an Arkansas connection where we meet up. And uh, I'll say I heard a lot of stories about Senator Ingram before I even uh, knew uh, much about Arkansas. I moved here, but I knew about Razorback Concrete and uh, the former mayor of West Memphis, who is now a, a state senator. I won't repeat any of these stories here. We can certainly still talk about them later. But um, I knew when I came here, uh, Gray said, you're one of the people you got to meet. You have to meet and get to know is going to be a big advocate in the legislature and he's, uh, Senator Keith Ingram. He certainly has been that and uh, someone we consider a friend. Senator Ingram. If I get this rig off, I'm, today is three weeks to the day that I had nine hours worth of neck surgery. 
my brother said to me, well, that, that nine hours is the most work that you've put in in a long time. So uh, hopefully next week I'll get out of this thing. Uh, first, welcome Carvana. Welcome to West Memphis, Crittenden County, and the Delta. Uh, we're glad that you, we are glad that you chose us to be your partner and locate here. Uh, what you do with your company besides provide jobs and employment is somewhat of a stamp of a seal of a good seal of approval for our area. You're a cutting edge company. You're a respected company. And when you choose to partner with uh, West Memphis, Crittenden County, and the state of Arkansas, you say this is a great place to do business. We can be successful. And that carries over to other companies that are looking. So just beyond the jobs that you create, uh, you also create goodwill and our ability to expand our uh, base of employment here. Uh, I can't say enough about, you know, in economic development, today is the one day you sort of get to celebrate, but you don't really get to see the 364 days or the years that go into making a day like this. Uh, I look around and if you see this industrial park, the city of West Memphis uh, bought this from Union Pacific Railroad in 89, I think, uh, late 80s, 89 or 90, and it was 500 empty acres. Now we are down to the last bit of acreage here. We set strict covenants. We wanted to recruit industries that would be here for the long term. And if you look at it, the neighbors of FedEx and Family Dollar, these uh, set of them that are here, uh, they've filled up this industrial park. So we've got to look to the future. So I want to salute the hard work that uh, Philip Sorrell and Mallory Darby do because they're the ones that are there day in, day out, answering these calls, doing this work with it behind the scenes. Uh, so I, I think that, as Mike said earlier, we have, I'll put this team up against any team in the state. They, they are professional, they do a great job. And I want to salute AEDC. A lot of communities don't understand the role that the state is supposed to play in assisting uh, communities in bringing jobs and businesses like this in. Uh, Mike Preston simply, and he mentioned Bryce Holt there, the two best economic development people that I've ever been around. He has created a culture, he has created a staff that is one of the finest in the country, certainly in the South. We're in on so many projects because of the hard work uh, that they do, and I appreciate them. And finally, uh, I've said this many times, this governor, he gets economic development. He travels. He is. Uh, committed to economic development. Uh, he, he understands the role that the governor's office needs to play in that. And I, I say this with no trepidation, uh, if this team that we see to my left had been here, we would have had an automobile manufacturer on the ground years ago and in place. That's how much I believe in, in what they do and how they do. And finally, I, I think that people in West Memphis, Crickton County, and the Delta need to thank the governor for this project specifically because uh, for every project that comes into your state, and in certain areas there might not be people that think this is a good project that, that might uh, either compete with their uh, business interest uh, or uh, they don't think it needs to go into the Delta. Well, I'll tell you, our governor stood up he got a lot of pressure uh, to not be make a competitive offer for this project, but he stood up and he saw what this meant. He understands the impact that this will have long term for the Delta. So, Governor, uh, for for our people over here, we want to thank you for standing up for us because I know there were some major interests that put a lot of pressure uh, not to be competitive uh, for an offer for this. So. Uh, today's a great day. Uh, Donald, we are your partner. Our mayor is committed to making things happen here. And uh, this isn't one of these things where we're going to cut a ribbon and we're going to walk away and, and go our merry way. 
uh, we're with you and we will be there through good times and bad. Thank you so much. Thank you, <clears throat> thank you, Senator. I really appreciate those words. And um, now it's exciting to uh, to get to introduce the uh, I'd say the, the man of the hour because this is uh, this is his facility. Uh, Don, sorry, I don't have any stories. I don't know you very well, but I tell a fun story about you. But I'm uh, looking forward to, to getting to know you. But to kind of piggyback there on what Senator Ingram said, and uh, let me welcome you to uh, not only West Memphis, but to the state of Arkansas. Because you are here, you're now part of our family. And I think you will see, as the Senator alluded to, uh, we want to get things done. If you have an issue, you pick up the phone, you call the mayor, you call Philip, and they're going to figure out a way to, to get it done. If it's a state issue, you pick up the phone and call our team, myself, and the governor, and we're going to figure out a way to, to get things done. And, uh, because we know that you've made this commitment, you've made this investment in our state, and we just want you to succeed, and we want you to continue to grow. So however we can make it more easy for you to do that, that's our commitment to you to make sure that we can continue to do so. And, uh, to your workforce and your team that you're building here, uh, we want to help you as you uh, bring those folks on. If you need the assistance and upskilling and training, uh, that's what we have within the Department of Commerce and our Skills Development Office. I want to make sure that our, our, our folks in, in uh, West Memphis and all throughout Arkansas and throughout the Delta uh, have the training and the skills that they need to, to fill the skill sets that you all need to continue to grow. Uh, but with that, let me just give you a little background on, on uh, Don. He has served as the uh, general manager of Carvana since January of 2020. He was previously an assistant general manager at Walmart in Atlanta, Georgia. He has also worked for Nike, Carrier, Pratt & Whitney. He is skilled in lean manufacturing, operations management, value stream mapping, business process improvement, and cross-functional team leadership. He is a strong operations professional with an MBA focused in supply chain management from Howard University. Uh, and we're so pleased that you now call West Memphis, Arkansas your home. Congratulations to Carvana, congratulations to you. I turn the floor over to you. Looking at me, I have a mask off, sweetie. There, nobody's around me. Everybody's six feet away, so I know she's seeing me. I'm gonna take a shower as soon as I get home. So that 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 public announcement. First of all, I just want to say thank everybody for showing up here today. Um, it's really an honor to have all of our guests, from the governor to the mayor um, to senators, um, just the entire team, um, especially. Uh, here in West Memphis, we've really been welcomed with open arms, and we couldn't have done it without you. I really want to give a, a special shout out um, to the ASU Mid South. Uh, we've had a tremendous partnership with us, um, and they've helped us every step of the way. Even us giving us office space when we didn't have it, when the construction team was a little bit behind. So thank you guys all. I'll be very brief and say we're extremely happy to be here in West Memphis. Extremely be here with Carvana to really help people buy cars in a different way. Um, and create a different buying experience and also we want to be able to create a different work experience we really want to value people want to bring them in we want to treat them well we want to give them an honest day pay and let them um, enjoy coming to work i um, also want to give a special thanks out to my team located around the building um, these guys are really the ones who are doing the work we're making things happen we're really making a positive impact on the people's lives that work for them and with them um, and it's just really a special place to be um, for all the people listening on the internet and any news outlet we're really looking for associates so if you're looking for a place of employment um, look us up on indeed and online um, we're growing um, in the next three or four months we'll be adding another two to three hundred associates uh, and it's just really a matter of um, you know surfacing the demand and being able to fill it and this is the place that we're doing we've got the facility um, we've got the support we got the infrastructure and we're really excited to be here and just can't wait to get going thank you guys all um, if there's anything you guys need uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or my team. I'm um, really looking to continue this partnership and continue to be an uh, advocate for the community and grow Arkansas as well as West Memphis. Thank you, guys. Good morning, everyone. I'm Philip Sorrell, Director of Economic Development here for the City of West Memphis. and. Uh, closing the ceremony this morning. I first want to say that uh, it's quite an honor to be on the stage today with you, Governor Hutchinson, and the other distinguished uh, folks that are up here with us today. I, uh, I want to be brief in my comments, but I, I do want to bring up one thing that you heard this uh, throughout some of Secretary Preston's uh, comments today as well. We're here today to celebrate uh, the 
dedication of this uh, new high-tech facility for one very simple reason, and that's teamwork. And uh, it's, it's been discussed and talked about today, uh, some of the members of the team. I won't, I won't get too redundant in, in talking about that, but uh, first of all, I, I think I, I must point out uh, where it all starts. And it starts with you, Governor Hutchinson, and, and Secretary Preston mentioned this earlier, when you first took office, and I recall this very well, uh, the economic growth in the state of Arkansas was a priority for you. And you, you put forth the policies and, and taken the actions necessary that allows our state to be more competitive from the educational component, the STEM in the public schools sectors, uh, uh, to workforce training, to uh, tax uh, uh, revisions, to, to make us more competitive with our neighboring states. And I feel like now we are in a position to better compete for projects going forward than we've ever been. And I think the future is bright, not only for West Memphis, but for the entire state. And Governor, I just want to express our gratitude and appreciation to you for all that you do for us over there. Uh, next, uh, I want to thank Secretary Preston. Uh, Governor, that was another good decision you made when you brought this guy out of Florida to lead our effort here. And what a great job he does for us as a face of economic development here in Arkansas. Um, you've assembled, Secretary Preston, you've assembled a team here at AEDC that uh, is second to none. Uh, Catherine Holstrom, who worked with Mallory and I on this project, uh, just does such a super job. Bentley Story, um, bright, intelligent professionals that are there to help us at every turn. Uh, Clint O'Neill, uh, some of the others, and all the project managers that we have the pleasure to work with uh, pretty much lately on a daily basis uh, because of the activity that we've had in this area. But uh, uh, Secretary President, you've done a great job in, in putting together a, a really stellar team there at AEDC, and, and it is our pleasure to work with them, and we appreciate all that you all do. Uh, like thank Senator Ingram. Um, what can you say about this guy? He, uh, uh, Keith and I go back many years, been friends for many years, and he has a passion for economic development. Um, he's done so much in this community, and he's very instrumental in this particular project. Uh, uh, he talked about the facilities board and the industrial park. Keith was very instrumental in putting this together and uh, a part of making this, this deal happen. And, you know, Keith has, has the, the, the accomplishments uh, and, and the legacy and impact that he's had on this community are too, too many to mention. But, but Keith, uh, just know that we all appreciate what you do uh, for us over here. I, and I will say this, because of his depth of knowledge and, uh, in, in government and economic development that Mallory and I sometimes uh, uh, use Keith as, as an advisor and counsel. Uh, he doesn't always tell us what we want to hear, but he'll tell us what we need to hear. And so, Keith, again, we appreciate the representation that uh, you, you provide to us at, at the state level and, and all that you do here. Mayor McClendon, I want to thank him two years in office. Uh, some of the accomplishments have already been pointed out. Um, we hit the ground running in 2019. We got checked up a little bit by COVID in 2020, but uh, right now, uh, Mallory and I have more active projects working than at any point in time that uh, we've been uh, doing this together. And so, uh, Mayor, your, your enthusiasm and energy and passion for this city uh, have, have really brought this community together. And that plays into that whole teamwork component that uh, we want to emphasize here today, or that I want to emphasize here today, is that uh, you know, it takes a team to make uh, something like this uh, happen. And this is just the latest success uh, in that area. And finally, and most importantly, I want to thank the good folks at Carvana. Don Lake, who's here representing Carvana today, the general manager. Uh, Todd Ward, uh, Brock Nelson, a couple of the other people that Mallory and I had the pleasure of working with in the early stages of this. Um, they were they're just super people to work with. And we're so excited that, that Carvana chose West Memphis for the site of their newest facility. And um, we, we feel that uh, the future is bright for 
your company here as well as West Memphis because you are here. With that, I'll close, and uh, at this time, I think we'll uh, move to the ribbon cutting, and I believe Mallory Darby, who works with me in economic development in the back of the room, is going to take over there. And I, but I would be remiss in not, not pointing out that Mallory, she, she's worked this project from day one with me, and she's a tireless, bright, young talent. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be up here without her. But she also coordinated this event today, which uh, sometimes uh, you don't realize what all has to go into uh, putting one of these things together. So, Mallory, thank you for all that. At this time, I'll turn it over to you. You can direct us to, uh, to the ribbon cutting. Thank you all.